The cicadas getting a lot of attention from the East Coast to the Midwest as they chatter away looking for mates. Yeah, and while technically this brood is not in Pittsburgh, they are showing up in parts of our region. And new this morning, John Shumway looked into brood 10. And John, I'm hoping you're just looking into them and not snacking on them again like you did that one time. Mm. No, not at all. Just <laughs> okay. looking, just looking. And indeed, we are seeing some cicadas around the region. It's not our turn for the big wave, but they're close by. When they are around, you know it. They're really um, kind of innocuous to us, um, other than the annoyance to some people. Um, certainly they're loud. Dr. Chad Gore of Ehrlich Pest Control says it's the cicadas in frequency that creates the novelty. I think a lot of people are fascinated with cicadas because um, they are just a, an amazing natural phenomenon, and we only get to see them every uh, every 17 years. Brood 10 is cropping up from the East Coast to Ohio, Indiana, North Carolina, even Texas. In our area, Mercer and Somerset counties are hearing them, <laughs> and you can't miss them. The periodical cicadas are these nice black uh, cicadas with bright red eyes. What is your uh, favorite cicada recipe? <laughs> well, I, I can't say that I have uh, a favorite. I mean, I, I've tried them before and um, they're a little mushy. Uh, I don't know that what I would really uh, equate it to, but it, maybe it, it's kind of nutty a little bit. Asparagus. I know it sounds a little bit strange, but there are a lot of recipes out there for cicadas, everything from cookies to tacos. People will take them, put them in the freezer and kill them that way and then use them in recipes. And fishermen love to use them when they're still alive because they'll bounce around on top of the water and the fish can't resist. And that's fine. It, anglers have at it. Yeah. I just don't want them on my food anywhere. Have you John, tried one, Heather? All right, see, this is the, I hesitate to ask this. Did it really like, taste to you like asparagus? Yeah, it really did. The, the wings are kind of crunchy like a potato chip. Why did you but, ask? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think we're grossing Heather out here. But yes, right. it tasted like asparagus to me. All right, we'll take your word for it. Thank you, John, for the update. I don't like asparagus, so I'm out. <laughs>